on the door for more. First and goal from the five. Stacked eye, Keon Johnson ahead of Walter Taylor. Here comes Johnson bouncing off of people until finally he can bounce no more. Donald Deco coming in to, to deliver the big blow there. Where the first rush was led by a backup defensive lineman, Nate Larson, a junior from Morgan, Utah, wearing number 92, and he really slowed down that big fullback. He makes the hit right about there, and then he bounces to the outside, but really doesn't get any other yardage because the support by Utah State was so good. Second and goal from the four. Stacked eye again. Ensminger waiting, waiting, hum humming it in there, and a nice defensive play there. That was Greg White, who... That was right in the arms of Shaw, but after the bobble, White slapped it away to make sure that he didn't get a second chance at that touchdown catch, and that's unusual because this guy catches everything thrown his way. White really gets a hand in on this and, uh, and tries to actually make the interception. Ensminger's throwing right to the sideline. Shaw is there, can't control it. Here's White. They're both grabbing for it. Had Shaw, uh, well, he did grab it at that point, but then he's out of bounds. I think you're right. Uh, Greg White had that hand in there, uh, not allowing Shaw to haul it in. So it's third and goal from the four. Key play here. Ticking down close to one minute to go in the first half. Ensminger on the roll. Has a chance to run it in. He will get in. No, he won't. Is denied at the foot line. What a delivery by Donald Deco, who's having a career game here in his final home game of his career. Boy, he's knocking people all over the field. That was a terrific and Ensminger ball. is down. Yeah, he's not getting up quickly, and he was wrecked. It's a, just a naked bootleg as he starts the play action fake on a little counter back the other way, but he keeps the ball, has some blocking, but look at Johnson looking back to see what's going on, and Deco. Uh, knifed in behind the blocker and made the stop. Interesting, the fullback was spectating when he could have been taking out a player. Deco made a great play, sliding across uh, just inside uh, the other side of the goal line. I'd like to take another look at that first angle because it certainly looked to me like Ensminger came down with the ball first on the goal line, but he certainly paid a price for that, and that's his left arm or shoulder he's holding on to. Let's go back and take a look at this. and. I'm not sure, but it looked like his body lands ball down on the goal line, but we'll see. Certainly, Deco bringing a load here. You know, I thought uh, originally Let's, there was a question about the control of the ball, but he did. did no, he, I guess not. Referee's on it. That was a, about a foot away. That was very close. It so, looked originally like he had fumbled it, but he didn't. He held on to that, and look, uh, Hotling's coming on now. Pretty good backup to have the guy who, who was the starter until some disc problems took him out and uh, allowed Ensminger to come on in. Ty Hotling, 6'2", 205-pound senior from Lake Arthur, New Mexico, just back after the pelvis injury. So uh, it's not like you're bringing in a backup here. This guy's logged plenty of miles at the quarterback position. For Tony Samuel, they go up the middle. Nothing there. Huge stop there for New Mexico State. Deco again with the play. Rocking Keon Johnson's world at the foot line. What a stand for, New for Utah State's defense. We talked about how they've been tough in the red zone lately, and boy, they were all over that. Deco gives away about 25 pounds here at least, and watch him knife through an original uh, rush by one of the linebackers, but Deco did the finish, yep. and Johnson couldn't get across the goal line that was, before it done. But that was Brent Passy who went airborne to kind of take a little bit of the steam out of Keon, but what a stand.